What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Son of a Tech once again, and today we have yet another how-to video. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to get daily payouts for small miners on ethermine.org. Now, this is going to use Matic, which is also known as Polygon now, and that Layer 2 solution. So if you are not super familiar with how the Layer 2 solutions work, as well as like things like Uniswap, etc., it may be a little hard to keep up. We will have a written guide down in the description for you guys to follow along with. And this guide is going to assume you're already familiar with editing batch files and commands within HiveOS to go ahead and change your rigs over and not try to get too in depth from an overall perspective, right? So if you need to learn how to basically just mine or start mining Ethereum, check out my How to Mine Ethereum for 2021 video and then come back to this one. We will be showing LOL Miner in this one as well, just so you guys have an idea of where we're making those changes and how those ties go together. But the primary focus is going to be the Matic ecosystem, how to mine to that and set that up in Ethermine, and then of course, how to convert that and what you should be doing or thinking about if you decide to use the solution. But before we get into it, here's a word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is myself. To support the channel, click the join button down below and you will be able to access our privately hosted rocket chat. Selecting the $1.99 option will get you access and after that you just need to head on over to the membership tab, scroll down and expand out your membership perks and find the section for connecting on social media. In that section there will be a secret registration URL for rocket chat where you can sign up and enjoy talking with other cryptocurrency enthusiasts and miners without scammers, spammers or bots welcome back so a lot of people have been asking why would i do this and that's a very good question because once you swap from the matic network to the ethereum network you hit the same fee issue that you have on the main net for ethereum which means your fees are going to go significantly up so if you're daily mining and you're already getting low payouts like supported here of 0.005 and you decide to move to the main Ethereum network, you probably aren't gonna have enough ETH in there to go ahead and make the conversion without just losing all of your Ethereum. So why would you do it? Well, the reason you would do it is while you're in the Matic ecosystem, you can use a quick swap exchange, just a DEX that is on that network to go ahead and convert your mined Ethereum into USDT. So if you are thinking we are going into a bear market and the price of Ethereum is going to go down and you want to protect that investment, then what you would do is as soon as you mine it, you would connect to the quick exchange and swap it to USDT and then keep saving that up until you want to move that USDT over to the Ethereum mainnet. So how are we going to do this? Well, let's start, of course, with Ethermine and setting up the mining software. All right, so this will essentially be the documentation that we'll leave down in the description below for you guys to go ahead and check out yourself with a full guide here on how to use Polygon and Ethermine. So the first thing we're going to need to do is get MetaMask. Always go directly to the metamask.io website by manually typing it in. I will have it linked in the description, but I always advise against hyperlinks. It is not unheard of for YouTubers to get hacked, and if I got hacked and somebody decided to put a rotten MetaMask link in all of my videos, it wouldn't be that difficult with a tool like vidIQ to do it really quickly. So, even though it is down there, just a disclaimer, you can't always trust it right so what i would recommend doing is typing in metamask.io at that point you're going to go ahead and click the download button we are using brave and there are plugins for edge and chrome as well as well as ios and android apps today we're going to be going using the brave as examples and then we're going to go ahead and click the install metamask for brave it will take us to the Chrome Web Store, and then we'll have MetaMask here to add to Brave. 
and then we will click add extension. The reason you don't want to search in the Google web store directly is primarily due to the fact that they have had rotten seeds within Google play ads. So just like before the video where you get those scammy eth Ethereum giveaways from Elon Musk, Google is basically getting ads or paid for ads that are scams within cryptocurrency and hopefully that gets resolved at some point. All right, so now we are at the get started page for MetaMask. So we're gonna go ahead and click get started. If you have a wallet already, you can import, but for now our example will be creating a wallet. We're going to go ahead and agree. And then you can type in a simple password. And by that, I mean a complicated password, preferably randomly generated from someplace like random.org or your password generator within your key manager, such as 1Pass, etc., or LastPass. All right, so I'm going to say I agree and cl click to create. At this point, you will go ahead and reveal your secret key. Now, you should write this down on a piece of paper and keep it in a fireproof safe. Alternatively, you could put it on an encrypted USB drive. That's a little less safe. And then the worst last case scenario is using something like Nord Locker and putting it in the encrypted cloud. Those are in order of best or safest to unsafest. Okay, so at this point we're gonna click next and then it will have you type in, of course, the password that you just set up. So we have spend, kick, knife, receive, hedgehog, inform, soon, enough, broccoli, awesome, tumble, cart, confirm. All right, so at this point we have our ETH account set up and we need to connect it to Ethermine. So you can always just click the account to have it copied to your clipboard. And then this point, we're gonna to go to ethermine.org and paste it into the miner address and click search. At this point, you will have your dashboard. We don't currently have any workers active on this address, but we don't need to to configure the settings. So next, we're gonna go ahead and click the settings button. And then we are gonna click payment method. Now here's where you'll have your two options for the Ethereum mainnet. And if your balance is above 0.01 ETH, it's paid out on the 28th of every month. And now the daily payout, they have upped from 0.1 ETH to one ETH. So this has made, of course, the payouts for your Ethereum uh, take a lot longer than it used to. So just keep that in mind. If you are currently mining to Ethermine, it has changed and it has increased. So you just need to be prepared for that. If you want to have quicker payouts, of course, we're going to go over that now, which is going to be the L2 Matic. And so from here, we're going to go ahead and click the connect. And so it does say that we need to install MetaMask. We may have to refresh this because we need a new session. So we're gonna go ahead and click refresh, highlight the L2, and now it'll do the pop-up for MetaMask. And we're gonna just click next and then connect. And that's gonna connect the wallet to MetaMask. The last setting is that we will need to sign and save it for the L2 payout. So we're gonna click sign and save, and then we'll click sign on the MetaMask wallet and our settings have been updated successfully. To double check this, you can always just do a refresh on the page or go to your dashboard and then go back to settings and payment method to confirm that the L2 Polygon payout method is selected. So now that we have that all set up, we are going to be paid out in Polygon, but we won't be able to actually see it unless we connect our MetaMask to the Polygon network. So what we are gonna do is head on over to our MetaMask. We're gonna click down on the drop down menu on our networks and we're gonna add a custom RPC. These custom RPC details will be in the guide that they have so generously provided us. And if you scroll down, you will be able to find them in another guide, which I'm trying to find for you guys right now. 
right here. So adding the Matic network. So at this point, adding the net Matic network will require entering these into the custom RPC in MetaMask. So we're just going to name it Matic mainnet. And then we are going to add the RPC. And then we are going to add the chain ID. And then we are going to add the currency symbol. And then we will add the block explorer here for Matic. At this point we can click save and we can now swap between Matic, Matic mainnet and Ethereum mainnet. If you're ever getting confused and you don't see the, the Ethereum that you've mined in your wallet, you probably need to select the Matic mainnet to go ahead and find your payouts. So once you have all of this configured up, you can just go ahead and head into your miner edit the batch file and just change the wallet address that we have just set up by going back here and copying and just pasting that in right here. And then the pool should stay the same for Ethermine. So your geographical location, whether that's EU one or US one dot ethermine.org. And then of course the port is four, 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 four save your batch file and run it and then it will begin mining and you will be able to be good to go now for checking of course you will want to go back to your ether mine and then go to your dashboard and it will show your workers and your unpaid balance it will pay out once of course your unpaid balance is above 0.005 and it will pay it out to the Matic network. So before we get into the actual swapping, I will show you guys on this example PC on how to redeem the free Matic tokens from the faucet. It'll be Matic.supply. I recommend this because you will need a little bit of Matic right off the bat to do any conversions, of course, with the the Ethereum that's deposited to the account because there will be fees in the Matic token. So you'll just do the CAPTCHA, click the connect. And as long as you have the Matic chain selected or network selected within MetaMask, it should pop up. You'll click connect and then click the receive button and they will send, I think it's like 0.001 it's yeah 0.001 matic to your wallet so that you have some matic in there to perform some swaps heading on over to the other pc to show you guys what you need to do there okay so now that you have it configured what you should see is if you click down onto your account we have a little bit of matic in here and we will be able to go ahead and do some conversions. Now it doesn't list all of your assets here. You can add the tokens though with the contract address. If you need help with that, we can go over that in a later video, but the wallet.matic.network will show everything. Once you navigate to there, you will just connect it and sign it with of course your MetaMask account. And as you can see here, we have about $25.82 in Ethereum in the account. So at this point we can swap, do all that sort of stuff with it. Um, or we can always swap back into the Ethereum mainnet. For now, what I want to show you guys how to do is going to be moving it over to your USDT wallet in case you're wanting to protect funds. For that, we are going to use quick swap. And when you go to use quick swap, you will want to just make sure that you have the Matic network selected. And then at this point you can select the ETH that you've mined. And then you can hit the max and then select the token for USDT. And then click the approve, which will have you approve it within the MetaMask wallet. 
And then once it's approved, you can click the swap, which will basically protect you from any downturns on the network, if that is your goal. So we're gonna click swap and then confirm swap now. And we will confirm it within MetaMask and the transaction has been submitted. Now at this point, what you would be able to do is just go look at your USDT once it's confirmed and you should have a balance. In this case, it'd be like 0.5. So now that that's done, let's talk about moving it over to your Ethereum mainnet. So if we go back over to our Matic web wallet, which it looks like we confirmed a little bit more here, what you would need to do is move funds to the Matic mainnet, which you're gonna click that button, but I'll show you guys here in a second. As it pops up, you can move it from Ethereum to the Matic network. What you're gonna to wanna to do is click the switch button so that you can move from the Matic network to the Ethereum network. And what this is gonna do is essentially take it and move it from the custom RPC Matic mainnet over to the Ethereum mainnet. If you've been swapping to USDT, you will need to select the USDT option within Matic to then move it over. So let's say we mine $25 in USDT and it's past the month, we wanna pay our power bill, we wanna move it over to the Ethereum network. At this point, what we would do is just come in, select the USDT, click the max button, and then at that point, click the transfer button and then click the continue. And then it's gonna cost us <laughs> way too much money to do this. This is why you would leave it in USDT for up to a month. You're gonna click continue, continue. And then over here, what you would do is just make sure the gas fees are set and you can set your gas limits and all that. And then you'll click the confirm and then it'll confirm and move it over from the Matic network over to the Ethereum network. And then when you want to see the Ethereum mainnet, you would come up here to your MetaMask, click the down button and click the Ethereum mainnet. And at that point, it would show you, of course, how much is in there overall. And then if you wanted to see what USDT you had, you could add that token. Usually on the Ethereum mainnet, all those tokens are gonna be showing up no matter what, so you'll be good to go. Yes, I realize this is a lot more complicated than just setting an address and mining, and it can be quite troublesome. Now, the good news is we do have an exchange now that does technically support the Matic network, and that's gonna be a send EX. I have not created an account and confirmed deposits work over there. Please give me some time to get a payout from one of my test rigs over to the Ascend EX and confirm that works if you are wanting to mine directly to an exchange. But this is, you know, pretty much miners learning about DeFi. I actually, I'm super excited because I think we've done the Uniswap tutorials. We've talked about layer two before as well. We've talked about a lot of these different DeFi options, layer one, layer two as well. We are going to be doing a V3 for Uniswap. That being said, those videos don't get a lot of views because it's a mining channel. So this is kind of exciting because you guys can play around with this and see how it functions. I understand that it can be a little bit confusing. You can join our Rocket Chat and go ahead and message over there if you're having any issues with any of the details. Rewatch the video. I tried to go as slow as possible as well as add in all the caveats. The big thing is, is if you're not seeing the Ethereum within your MetaMask wallet, even after you swapped to the Matic network, go ahead and go directly to the wallet.matic.network and you'll be able to see your Ethereum there. If you wanna see it directly in the MetaMask wallet, you will need to go ahead and add that token information. If you need help with that, ask in Rocket Chat and we'll get you going there. Thanks for watching. I will see you next Tuesday. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to click this playlist up here to watch more or go ahead and subscribe or do both. I'll see you later.